mit Thierry Henry. Und natürlich gucken alle auf ihn. Ronaldinho. Man braucht ja Helden heutzutage. Henri und Ronaldinho. Jeweils in Gelb und in Blau-Rot. Aber die alleine können es nicht richten. Der FC Barcelona wird anstoßen von rechts nach links. So, das Champions League Finale des Jahres 2000. Ori war das klasse gemacht und Lema und Valdez. Haben Sie diese kurze Bewegung gesehen? Die erste riesen Chance nach zweieinhalb Minuten für Arsenal. Ori kriegt er noch einmal so eine Chance. Valdez von wegen Außenseiter. Also Wenger hat sich richtig vergnügt. And Cole just got his feet mixed up a little bit there, but when Julie went into the box. Ronaldinho. They had to wrestle away and hack away, and eventually the referee's displeasure was gained. I'm not Wilkinson like. It is Ronaldinho. And it's just off target. But as sight as go, it was pretty impressive. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to be able to put those free kicks in so accurately from different distances. Is arriving late in the day. It's towards the head of Campbell, who took Valdez to do that. That's under hit from Gilberto, and it's hit by Deck. Marquez is there too. It's Ronaldinho. Oh. It's just seen round the post by the fullback. He didn't get a touch, and after all that, a goal kick. Barcelona had the ball in the net. Ashley Cole covered the post, didn't make contact. Barcelona's 11 against Arsenal's 10 for at least 70 minutes. Abui is going to be penalised here, a yellow card for the foul on Deco. Suddenly the referee is a busy man. Arrested. Actually kept Lehman out of the team for a spell last season. It's a good ball from Ronaldinho, a really good recovery by Cole. Julie is uh, giving him a headache or two there with his pace, but Cole responded really well there. Well, uh, the little Frenchman burst from the touchline there. Cole did very well. Cole caught in possession by Marquez. Slipped through to Julie once more. Terrific run in between Arsenal defenders and... Uh, That man can thread the ball through. Beto was quick to the ball, but Edmilson has it. Now Ronaldinho has it. And he slipped it through towards Shuli again. And Henri. It's towards Campbell! Saul Campbell for Arsenal! Against all the odds, Saul Campbell chooses the Champions League final to score his first ever goal in Europe. A thumping header to Thierry Henry's free kick. And now we have a final. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho's name off the list of scorers. Getting him off the ball is the problem. Oli Gear. By the way, Ronaldinho gets it back from Deco. It's Ronaldinho. It's a 16 hour mark since they conceded their luck. Slipped into Eto. Clever turn. Samuel Eto off the post. Ronaldinho can't get to the rebound. Is it going to be Arsenal's night? Eto has hit the post. Wasn't bad either. Ronaldinho skipping past the challenges. Eto. And that's the way it will be. As they go into Arsene Wenger for some words of inspiration.
There have been 18 this season alone, but only ever one European Cup. Dumped off the ball. Henri just caught by Puyol. He's won the ball back, but only for Van Bommel. Henri again. Well, he certainly got the ball, but he came through Van Bommel to get it, and Thierry Henri is going to be cautioned. Well, he got robbed and showed great willingness. Ronaldinho's cross. Rafael Marquez. Fed through to Andres Iniesta, skipped away from Toure, shot by Iniesta, good stop again. Picked up pace on this uh, greasy top surface, but Almunia got down to it. He's done nothing wrong so far. That's a good break, I think it just came off for Campbell. Iniesta, threaded through to Ronaldinho, he's held off Clare. Still Ronaldinho, brought down edge of the penalty area by Toure, free kick given. Again, one or two Barcelona players running to the referee and nervous setup here for Arsenal. It's Ronaldinho, it's into the wall, it's Ronaldinho, it's missed hits. The referee doesn't know whether to give a goal kick or a corner. A goal kick it is. They're absolutely right. He was looking for guidance from the linesman there. Did it come off Sam. Arsenal can't afford to allow in that. Running at a buoy and getting past him. It's Ronaldinho. Almunia did just about enough down when Julie hooked away by Fabregas. Julie was penalty hunting. I also think that Abui had a little tug at Ronaldinho as he went past him. This is young. Van Bronckhorst. Hanging cross, Almunia. Oli Gare. Header away by Camp. Ronaldinho. Oh, complete miscue. Best player in the world. You're having a laugh. Well, they're certainly working the ball wide comfortably, Barcelona. But Arsenal have got bodies in the box whenever the ball comes in. And they've got enough at the moment to cope with it. Ronaldinho. Deco let it run. Julie with the cross. Cut out. Somehow. Thierry Henry. Kleb is clear to his right. It's Alexander Kleb. Oh! Just wide. And he had three with him if he'd wanted to look up. They did terrific there, Arsenal, because they recognised the opportunity when Fabregas got away and they got bodies in the box. They're not going to have too many of those chances, but when they do get it, they've got to go forward and try and get that second. It was a terrific break. Missed by a yard. Fabregas, Fabregas has his pocket picked by his Spanish international colleague Iniesta. Henri going on. Marquez can't stop him. Still Thierry Henri. Runs Puyol again and runs... Jungberg. Caught Oliguer in possession. It's Freddie Youngberg. Oh, he's beaten away by Victor Valdez. Wonderful guts from Youngberg. Valdez, who distinguished himself in the opening minutes of the game. Aldinho. Now Oliguer. Aldinho. Fabregas got to him. Fair challenge. Campbell away. Here goes Youngberg again, and Oliver just got a fall on the ball, did he? No, foul, yellow card. <laughs> Ironic cheers from the Arsenal fans as at last a Barcelona player is cautioned. Oliver. Well, I think uh, Rijkaard may even take uh, Oliver off. They need someone fit and strong in that position who can... Pleb is on the ball. It's Thierry Henry. So many of his greatest goals down at the Arsenal end. Ronaldinho, meanwhile, that's not far away. Well, we forget, I think, that Valdez now it was his third great save in the game. Fourth, if you count the deflection from Youngberg. And there's Ronaldinho just reminding us of the dangers. But when Youngberg has found some space and linked up with Fabregas here, and says Fabregas goes for glory. That's a cross which Larson sees it upon and sets up Deco. Down he goes. Iniesta, Ronaldinho, 
It's got past Carl. Space for Van Bronckhorst. Easy. Henri takes. Eto. Iniesta. Slipped into Larson. On goes Eto. Real chance. 1 1. It was only a matter of time. Samuel Eto has equalised. The Barcelona fans celebrate. Relief as much as joy. But now. Arsenal really are on the ropes. Eto once more. Here's Ronaldinho. Almunia has come for Eto. On goes Iniesta. Ronaldinho. Wouldn't reach Deco. Iniesta. Out as far as Belletti. Larson, good control. Tucked into Belletti. Oh, he's in. Nothing Almunia could do. Giuliano Belletti, the substitute, has scored his first goal for Barcelona ever. And given them the lead with 10 minutes of the Champions League final to go. And they think that's it. They think they've done it. Support on Rian. When you reflect that chance, having to play some Ole football against a, tour, a tiring Cole, Gilberto can't make anything of it. Two old sees to that. Put them to the finishing line. Ronaldinho breaking beyond Cole. Wrong foot to camp. Ronaldinho being chased out of trouble oh. by Toure. He's desperate to get it back, and he has. Looking to run Toure. Eto goes on, finds Ludovic Juli. Hit against Campbell, it'll be a corner. I think a postponement is uh, Arsenal's best chance at the moment. It's very difficult. They're so tired, they're out on the feet. They've defended magnificently. Campbell, Toure particularly. Ebue, tremendous uh, first period. But in the end, the sheer weight only thoughts were that they weren't going to maybe create a chance. In the end, the second goal was somewhat for. Marquez. Oh, and Reyes was just a little late there. Marquez just really kicked against him. I don't know how violent the Reyes challenge was. I certainly think the Mexican made the most of it. Uh, there's nothing much in that, you know. Marcin Wenger had a very good view of it. Balletti. Uh, poor. Now Balletti. And now Julie. Almunia. Not this year. 2006 is the year that Barcelona return to the summit of European football. The favourites have won the final. Arsenal's future may be bright, but Barcelona are the team of the present. And 14 years on from their one and only European Cup success. They have won the Champions League, and I don't think it will be 14 years before they win it again. Saw Campbell's goal, gave him and thousands like him hope. They came so close. Defeat will hurt for Arsenal, not like it would have hurt had they not secured their place in next season. Barcelona are back on top of European football, and the season's Champions League, their new stadium will host top-level European football, but it will not house the European Cup, not just yet. There will be relief as well as jubilation in the Barcelona ranks, a second European title overdue, but the uh, current crop won't worry too much about their famous forerunners tonight. Champions Leagues are one in the here and now, and here and now, Barcelona are the best team in Europe.